Men's Big Air made its Olympic debut Wednesday in Pyeongchang, and the qualifying round got so intense that one of the top gold medal favorites is already eliminated. The biggest name missing from the final will be Marcus Cleveland. The 18-year-old from Norway fell on his second run and was unable to get into the final with the previous trick he had landed in his earlier run. Cleveland is known for his ability to land quad corks, an off-axis rotation that includes four flips, and was considered one of the strongest contenders for gold in Pyeongchang. In the first heat, Max Parrott stomped a pair of frontside triple cork 1440s to earn the top score. All three Americans in the heat, Kyle Mack, Chris Corning and slope-style gold medalist Red Gerrard, landed backside triple cork 1440s to book their spots in the final. Of the American trio, Mack, who was using a very stylish Japan grab on his triple cork, posted the highest score. Click here to read the recap and access Big Air Highlights Heat 1 results The top six riders from each heat have advanced to the Big Air final. 1. Max Parrott, Can, 92.502 Nicholas Matson, SWE, 90.003. Kyle Mack, USA, 88.754. Chris Corning, USA, 88.005. Michael Scherer, Sui, 87.006. Red Gerard, USA, 85.00. Heat 2 results. The top six riders from each heat have advanced to the Big Air final. 1. Carlos Garcia Knight, NZ Adal, 97.502. Jonas Boisega, Sui, 96.003. Mark McMorris, Can, 95.754. Torgier Bergram, Nor, 94.255. Sebastian Tutant, Can, 91.006. Billy Morgan, GBR, 90.50. Petter Lowukel scored the lone shootout goal as the Czech Republic defeated the United States and advanced to the medal round. Jan Kohler and Thomas Kundratek scored in regulation, while Pavel Frankus made 18 saves and stopped all five shootout attempts. Ryan Donato scored his tournament-leading fifth goal, and Jim Slater added a short-handed goal as the Olympics come to an end for the United States. 15-year-old Alina Zagatova set the new highest score ever recorded in the ladies' short program on Tuesday night to lead the field, including her training partner Yevgenia Medvedeva, who sits second. Both Olympic athletes from Russia train in Moscow, and are separated by just 1.31 points. Canada's Kyetlin Osman finished third in the short program with 78.87 points. Zagatova performed her short program to From Black Swan, and turned into the creature by the end of the program, her swipe her dress to make the colors change right as she hits her last pose. Zagatova executed a clean triple Lutz triple loop, a triple flip and a double axle to score 82.92 points, the newest short program score ever seen. NBColympics.com, Brady Tennell has surprise fall in short program Medvedeva finished close behind with 81.61, originally a high-scoring short program before Zagatova skated. Medvedev as short program, set to Chopin's Nocturne, featured a solid triple flip triple toe jump combination, triple loop and double axle. The concept of the program is about the flight of the soul, as it leaves a person's body at the point of clinical death. She tallied 81.61 points. Earlier at the Winter Olympics, Mirai Nagasu became the first American woman to land a triple axle on Olympic ice. She helped at the U.S squad earn a bronze medal in the team event, tweeting later, they honestly feel like gold. She placed fourth at the Vancouver Olympics eight years ago before missing the Sochi team in 2014. Nagasu attempted the jump again in Tuesday's short program, set to Chopin's Nocturne. She fell on the jump and but skated clean for the remainder of the program. She is the top-ranked U.S. woman headed into the free skate with 66.93 points. Click here to read the recap from the ladies' single short program.